with her hard riding. Straight shooting. Mister, afraid you'll have to come back. I have to meet the stage. That's my son they're putting up the banner for down at the depot. He just graduated from the Missouri Medical School. Yes, I met your son in Kansas City. He told me a lot about you, Mr. Briggs. I'm Craddock, Jess Craddock. Well, any friend of Don's is a friend of mine. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder if you could spare a couple of seconds to put this in your safe. Uh, I was just too late for the bank. Well, I'm afraid it'll take more than a couple of seconds to open that safe, but... Well, I guess I'll have time. You tell me these new type safes are just about foolproof. Well, the United States Reserve Bank must think so. I'm holding $50,000 in gold for them. $50,000? That's uh, quite a sum. <laughs> Hey, Annie! This sign's straight. Straight as a hair's front tooth. Straight as a Freddy cat's tail. The animal kingdom satisfied? I am. <laughs> Here, Tag, put these in the back closet, will you? Sure, sis. Ah, Donald Briggs, M.D. This sure is a proud day for the Briggs family. Thank you for all your help. It was nothing, Sam. Hey, we better hustle down to the depot. Yeah. Oh, gosh sakes, I forgot to hang out by going to the depot back in an hour card. I'll watch the express office for you, Mr. Briggs. Well, thanks, Dave. You figured right, Ned. The law is joining the greeting committee. Let's hope they make lots of noise. Well, well. My old friends, Ned and Cal. Cut <laughs> it. You still the Blaine brothers? We're the Collins brothers now. We found it more, uh, convenient when we took over the old Miller ranch. Don't tell me you've turned ranchers. Sure have. Mm -hmm. Uh, since when do peaceful ranchers conceal their extra hardware? They're just a habit. I understand. Like gambling is with me, I guess. Incidentally, I'll give you 20 to 1 odds if you even get that safe open. You don't haul the stuff away. <laughs> Good to see you. Nice to see you, son. <laughs> nice. Hello. Lofty. Welcome back, son. And say you're even prettier than I remembered. Well, that's the kind of medical opinion I like. Didn't expect you folks to go to all that fuss. Banner and all. Oh, the whole town's proud of you, Don. Go get your bag, son. Thanks, Lofty. Excuse me a minute, Annie. Congratulations, Don. You're here to make trouble. Oh, oh, no, I don't have to. There'll be plenty as it is. When your father and your friends find out you didn't pass your exams. Trying to figure a way to let my dad down easy. It is quite a problem, isn't it? Uh, fathers never seem to understand when their sons pile up gambling debts instead of grades. You'll get your 500. No, I will. It's just a question of how and when. This is a friend of mine, Dad, Jess Craddock. We've met. Miss Annie Oakley. How do you do? Deputy Craig. Howdy. It's a pleasure to see you all later. Come on, Don. Your dad's just dying to show you the surprise he has for you. Surprise? Mm-hmm. Come on. Hi, Smoothie. You know, you've been so quiet, I've forgotten all about you. Say, how about going to work on my ward, huh? Hey, 
here. Now, don't you ever try that trick again, you hear? Hurry up, Sykes. We ain't paying no overtime. Calm down. This safe's got to be blown just so. You know, Don, your father's had more fun outfitting this place than a kid at a circus. Oh, and here's something from Lofty, Tag, and me. Your bag, Dr. Briggs. I don't know what to say. Thank you, all of you. I only wish I was worthy of it. The best way you can thank us, Don, is just to start practicing. And don't forget to put up your diploma and license, Doctor. Or I'll have to jail you for practicing illegally. <laughs> well, you better start unpacking, Doctor. Some men are robbing the express office. Lucky you take the back and tag, you go on home. Okay, sir. It's the law. Get going. A chance there, Sam. Uh, yes, I did. It really saved my life, Annie. Maybe you can do the same for me sometime. I hope so. Well, thank goodness they didn't get anything. How is he, Don? Bullet wound isn't bad, but he's got a concussion from that fall. Well, take him over to your office. Lofty and I'll see if we can catch the other two. I'll get a stretcher. Looks like you've got a patent whether you want one or not, Doc. Let's split up. We'll meet back at the ranch. Oh, we split up here. We'll do the same. Sure be slow trailing through these rocks. only a slight concussion. He ought to be out of it tomorrow. That varmint is pretty lucky having a first-class doc like you treating him. Well, I've got to go back to the express office anyway. Take it easy, son. I'd better be going to. I can't take any more of this pretense, practicing without a license. As soon as Sykes is able to walk, I'm going to leave Diablo for good. Go east and get a job and pay back Dad. And you. We're the new owners. I'm Ned Collins, and this is my brother, Cal. Three men tried to hold up the express office this afternoon. One of them's out of commission. Trail another one right to your door. I haven't seen any strangers around. We've been right here most of the time. You didn't go to town all day, huh? We didn't make one quick trip. Ran out of paint. You've been painting. Why is it so dry? The sun's pretty hot. It's good painting weather. Grow alfalfa, huh? Yeah, they say it does pretty good around here. Mm -hmm. It does even better if you use alfalfa seed. This is clover. Planning weather's cool weather. You say we don't know our business, mister? I say you're a lion. Cal, he's the law.
Cutter. Well, this has turned into a mighty exciting afternoon. Uh, you're not going to arrest these men, Miss Annie. Why not? We trailed them out here. Well, the Collins boys are old friends of mine. Well, sure. We ran into him in town today. He'll tell you. That's right. We had quite a talk together, and they invited me out to see the ranch. Did you see them leave town? Well, yes. Uh, they drove out just shortly before the stage arrived. What's the idea of jumping me and kicking dirt in my face? Oh, the dirt was an accident. Cal here, he's just a hot-headed fool. Well, I guess that settles it, Lofty. Let's go on back to town. All right, Craddock, we appreciate your help, but what's your game? Same as yours. Only when I go after $50,000 in gold, I don't bundle it. I suppose you know a nice, easy way to open that safe and make a getaway. Certainly, I get the cooperation of the man who could do me the most good, Sam Briggs. Why should Briggs oblige you? Not him, his son. The doc? That's right. Young Dr. Briggs doesn't know it, but he's going to be our cure-all. Alibi or no alibi, those Collinses aren't ranchers. And they could have doubled back to town. Let's wire the state capital and see if they've got anything on these Collinses. And let's ask about Craddock, too. Do I have to? Yes, you have to. Now, the doctor isn't going to hurt Tag. Come on. Come in. Morning, Don. Hello, folks. How's the patient? He's going to be all right. He came to a while ago with a cracking headache, and I gave him a sedative. Well, we'll want to question him when he's able to talk. Well, we have a new patient for you today, doctor. Well, what's wrong with Tag? Nothing much. He just has a little wart on his finger that I was afraid might interfere with his writing when he goes back to school. Wards are a little out of my line, Annie. I better take him over to Doc Morton in Springtown. For a little thing like that? I sure you can remove it. Oh, I'd just rather not. See, I told you I didn't need a doc. Besides, I got my own remedy right here. A toad? Oh, tag of all things. I call him Smoothie on account he isn't. See, all I have to do is rub the ward against his hide, and by and by it'll disappear. The ward, I mean. Well, I'll take modern medicine to old wives' tales any day. Well, I really think the ward will slough off if you just leave it alone. All right, Don. We'll be on our way. Hey, Don, I thought you were going to put up your diploma and your license. To tell the truth, Lofty, I haven't got them. What? Well, I managed to misplace them somehow in packing. But I'll write for duplicates. So long, Don. Bye. Bye. Gosh, Annie, that Don's a great doctor. He didn't even hurt a bit. I'm glad it wasn't necessary, Tag, but as for Smoothie, you take him right back where you got him. I'd like to keep him. Oh, Tag, you've already got a pony and three dogs, uh, two cats, a bird, and, and a turtle. <laughs> Go on, Scoot. Something's fishy here, Annie. Doctor doesn't misplace valuable documents like a license and a diploma. Don was nervous. Oh, it's probably because he was just handling his very first patient, Lofty. Maybe you're right. Hello, folks. Hello, Sam. I brought Don some breakfast. He hasn't had a chance to get out. Let's go see if we've got any word from the state capitol. Have something to eat, son? No, thanks, Dad. I'm not hungry. Well, you must be worrying about that patient in there. Is he doing all right? He is. Well, then, what's bothering you? Dad, I haven't got anything to put in those frames up there. No diploma, no license. I didn't graduate. I... I can't believe it. I was a fool. I met Craddock. He's a gambler. I lost money to him. I was so worried about paying back the money, I couldn't keep my mind on my studies. Why didn't you tell me? I meant to. When I saw you and Annie and Lofty at the depot and, and all the fuss you'd gone to, I just couldn't. I was so proud, thinking my son was a doctor. I can still be a good son to you. I'll go to work and I'll pay back every cent that you spent on me. No, by thunder. You're going back to the medical school and get that diploma. 
I've still got a couple of years more. I've taken enough from you already, Dad. Let me stand on my own two feet. I always liked high-sounding speeches, Don. You ought to write plays. Craddock, how did you get in here? Through the back door. I found it unlocked. Mr. Briggs, I heard you say something about going to work. Yes, if you want the envelope. I do, and I also want everything's in that safe. And I want it quietly and without any trouble. I don't understand. I do. You planned this all along. You and your offer to help me. But take it easy, Don. I'm talking to your father, not you. No need to drag Dad into this. He think differently when he sees that patient in there. Just a tap on the head. That's all it would take, isn't it, Don? To make a slight concussion fatal. You did say it was a slight concussion, didn't you? You wouldn't dare. For a safe full of gold? Shall we go, Mr. Briggs? No, Dad, he's just bluffing. You realize, Mr. Briggs, if that man in there dies, your son could hang. I'm ready. Come on. I'm glad to see someone in this family has some sense. You're going along too, Don. In case you get lonesome for the law, remember, I always carry this. State Capitol didn't have much to say about the Collins boys, but they sure have plenty to say about Craddock. Oh? Notorious gambler and confidence man. No wonder Don wasn't pleased to see him. I wonder how much Don knows about this. Let's find out. Don, have you seen anything? He's gone out, Lofty. Left that outlaw alone? He's dead. No. Only a little while ago, he... he was probably dead then. I wonder if Don acted so nervous. We've got to find him. Sam would know where he is. Who did it, Sam? I... I can't tell you, Annie. Didn't you get a look at him? Looks like they got away with everything. That took time and no interference. Talk up, Sam. I've got nothing to say. What's got into you, Briggses? First Don lights out, now you. Don had nothing to do with it. It was Craddock. It's too bad we didn't find out about him sooner. Let's get after Lofty. No! Craddock's got Don. He told me to give him an hour's start. Sam, you wouldn't pull a gun on me. I know you only did it to help Don, but it'll just make things worse for him. That patient in his office died. Died? And Craddock did it, the lying murderer. And that's why we've got to catch him before he hurts Don, too. Let's go, Lofty. So long, Smoothie. Guess this is the end of the trail for us. Too bad, too, because we hit it off great together. Smoothie. As soon as we get rid of these boxes, we'll be on our way. Saddle me a horse, Cal. What about him? There's plenty of hay in the barn. They say it takes a while to find a needle in a haystack. Same ought to hold true for a man. Let's go, doctor. Come on. In the barn. Shoot it out. You go after that one and I'll take care of these two. 
the gold, Annie. All right, come on. In the buckboard. Mighty glad to see you, Annie. I was getting ready to spend the rest of my life under a haystack. In a very short life. I'm afraid there's a judge back in town that wants to ask you some questions, Don. Such as, did I really misplace my diploma and license? Or did I ever receive them? I'll tell you all about it on the way home, Annie. All right. You write often. Every week. And I'll send the town council a report on my progress, too. It was mighty nice of them to give me that scholarship. And mighty nice of Annie to get the judge to let you off with a reprimand. When you get back from medical school, Don, your office will still be waiting for you. Thanks again. Thanks to all of you. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. Don. Shalom! Here you are, Tom. Shalom. Bye. Tag Oakley, that didn't sound like so long to me. What have you got in that jacket? Come on, Tag, let's see. Oh, Tag, you got rid of the wart just like Don said you would. What in the world do you want with another toad? My turtle got lonesome. <laughs> well, I know when I'm licked. <laughs> Come on. 